Hey, how are you guys? It's your main man Ben here with another tech reviews. Before we close out 2017, I would like to review one more gadget that I think it's very important. Um, I mentioned last episode that I was getting into cryptocurrency and I figured out um, since I put a massive amount of time for this past couple of weeks and in doing some investing and dipping into trading, I think I have enough, like, I would say level one knowledge about it. So one thing I learned is that I have to secure whatever I have in terms of um, shares and coins itself, not leaving it to the exchange or shall we say I use Coinbase. So this review though will focus on, on a hardware wallet that you can take your shares or your coin and store it offline so that just in case you know something happens to the exchange your money basically or your coins or shares will not get affected but this is just one way of securing or storing your files in a manner that is not leaving it into the internet so what we have here is the Trezor hardware wallet it's very small indeed it's like a USB a um, little bit bulkier than USB but it's very thin so I got this on Amazon man I tell you if I buy this maybe two months ago it'll probably cost me just $99 there's another wallet there like Ledger um, those wallets are really nice as well but like the Trezor ever since the cryptocurrency came into the market the price of this things exploded to almost a hundred percent so if you were lucky you will you were the ones that got this for like 99 bucks but you're not gonna get this in that price anymore um, yep I got this in Amazon um, very good price that I got I didn't pay the $200 price tag I think I caught this around 85 five dollars got really lucky and I must say when I used it and configured it I'll show you how I did it and um, check this out real quick so once I got the device I updated the firmware via Chrome extension it will display in your device Just give you the successful message put in a name for your device create your pin code and this is the seed the 24 seed that will ask you twice as well you gotta write that down and also you can set up a home screen image so overall when I use this Trezor um, it took a little bit of time of configuring maybe I would say 10 to 15 minutes if you really don't want to go through you know the extra steps of um, you know configurations because there's some kind of advanced settings in it but I did try it first and wipe every seed that I got and got me another new sets of seed just to make sure that I can go you know a little bit around if just in case this thing fails you can always go get another one of hardware of these and then just having your own seed and put it into a separate hardware that will assure that your funds are still safe overall um, I think having one of this hardware wallet adds a security like personally that you know your funds are okay that is not like you leave it into the exchange or like Coinbase and it's not online but I think it's still there's some still a lot of features that can be added to to probably secure it more and I think more coins should also be supported in this one since like Cardano it's not yet supported. Uh, Verge is still not supported. ERC20 tokens are supported, which is good, but not all of them because um, there's some new stuff that comes in. I think it, it 
will need to get the update for it to get supported, but it's really up to Trezor if they're going to support it um, in the near future. Hey guys, I think we're going to wrap it up in 2017. And it's going to be a very good year this 2018. I think it's going to be one of the best years ever, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, always remember, God is good all the time. Have a great year, guys.